Nukuk, of course, the fact that he is now in a 1v1 could free him up in the lane as well to use that ultimate for that. I think it was around 94%. Yeah, and if you remember, actually, the result against Fnatic as well was 93, but it's going to be the slicing Maelstrom. Will it be enough to get on towards it? Here comes Nukuk. He's going to swing around, gets that wild card on towards Maluna, takes a lot of damage, but Bjergsen tries to sneak him back behind. No real aggression coming in. Maluna is going to get locked up this time. It will be first blood, and it's Dexter once again. Turn it into that, turn it into another turret here, and it might be able to push up a little bit further. Well, they're going to try and get some dirty farming in between. Not to be do see though the rest of Lemon Dogs actually claps in on this one. There's a four man push here. There's going to be the ultimate finally coming out from Divisio. It does catch out Mithy. The Aqua Prison catches on taps as well. They slide through but straight into a crescendo. Force back Maluno taking very low. Puts the Cataclysm down but he instantly gets dropped by taps. But then Ninjas and Pajamas. Divisio takes down Mithy. But now Extinct's going to get caught out. The webbing, the cocoon, everything goes towards him. He's taken so so low. Dexter does manage to back away but Bukes is going to try and turn that one around. Zoro Zero popped the slicing Maelstrom but instantly got caught out by Divisio. Very early Oracle out of him, too, because it looks like they want to control the jungle of NIP, but Bjergs is going to go in here and get a lot of damage on Mithy. Just as I pointed out, sure enough, that pink eye, it's almost a, just a, to defend it, and then, just like I said, gives him a free dragon, so they get, the, they get that in the end. Instead, he's going to try and suicide on the turrets, but instead we see he's going to rip walk around. Dexter manages to get the cocoon. Billy Exxon will go down. It's simply a matter of who will take the kill. Can he rip walk one more time? No, he can't. It's going to be Dexter. Not doing that. And Mithy did invest the 400 gold, but we've seen engage on a nuke duck here with the Shen ultimate. The cocoon, or sorry, the, uh, the cataclysm was enough. They are going to shatter dash onto him. They're putting a lot in there. A lot of invested, but they're going to catch on towards Dexter. He's going to be able to repel around. Yes, he will, but Bjergsen follows him straight through, gets that null sphere on towards him, but Taps comes around the side. Gets to condemn on Maluna, oh. but a flash shadow dash from Extinct. Is it going to be enough to lock down Taps? Has to use that barrier already. Flashes away. We're going to see Maluna coming around the side. Will Bjergsen continue chasing him enough? He's going to push up enough and be able to pick that one up, but we just engage the NIP here. Maluna slides in. There's going to be the Stan United coming in. Is it going to be enough? Freeze does take down Dexter, but there's a great crescendo catching four members of Ninjas and Pajamas. They're going to turn this one back around. Maluna forced to back away. Mithy going to get focused. That's another Oracle going down. Freeze gets himself the second. This is perfect timing. The Extinct gets in there. They do manage to get the force pulse onto Nuke though, turns around, gets that stun gun, tries the destiny away, not in time. Bjergsen gets a kill. Now Bjergsen's gonna chase, he's gonna get to Zoro Zero, Ace in the hole comes out, there's a double for Stoned out completely by Maluna with that cataclysm. He wasn't able to get into the backside of NIP, and because of that, all the damage that he's built up. Wave out Bjergs, and he may go aggressive on him. He does, and then straight away, ultimate pop there from Tabs. We're going to see Nuke Dog joining the fight. This will be Bjergsen going down, tries to turn it back around. Not if see if Mithy can start this one off. He wants to get it's in and get that flash crescendo. He does get the steal once again, Dexter. But that's a oh. great oh. cataclysm catch. His four members straight in there. Bjergsen tries to get in, but gets caught by a crescendo instantly. Brilliant play from uh, Deficio and Mithy there. The both supports doing a fantastic job, and you can see Ninja Pajamas are just dropping like flies. Freeze is the one we're going to focus on towards. Nuke Dog's trying to catch on to Rosie, but it's a great Aqua oh! Prism. The wild card just on the tip. Let's get it down, see if we can pick up any exit kills. Maluno thought about it. This is going down really fast here at NIP. I don't think they're really aware of it. It does go down before they can do anything, and now NIP has to run. Crescendo on towards Extinct to Maluno. Extinct goes straight in. He gets caught out, though. Dexter's taken very low, but he can just repel straight away. They can see the slicing Maelstrom coming out from Zoro Zero. Maluno taking low as well. Bjergsen just off of the side, trying to do what he can. We see a Destiny coming out from Nuke Dog. He's going to track down Bjergsen. He's gonna riff walk. So bearing up Lemon Dogs when they're already tanking up to deal with him because he doesn't have some sort of extra oomph. Even with an easy large rod, they're gonna lose a second inhibitor here. And the Nexus turret's already taking damage. If you lose this one, it's even worse. And we do see the engage. And do see them going in. Slicing Maelstrom will run there, but Ninjas in pajamas are just dropping like flies. Maluno, Mithy throws out that crescendo on towards Bjergs, and Bjergs is not even involved in this fight. You see Dexter getting in there. The turret will go down, and Lemon Dog still yet to lose anyone. The cocoon comes out. Nuke Dog uses the destiny. Doesn't matter. Follow, and it's gonna be the Nexus.